these are the pepper soup balls and also the soup balls to food dish you can see mm -hmm. so you can cook with it you can serve it as a plate they are also the same so uh what we have done is that we get there so that we see the one that have died this one she smoked them today they met yesterday they get to smoke them today so she will leave them to dry before she could fire them yeah so maybe we'll go there so that we'll okay. see, we'll see. Yeah. Are all local men you see this therefore scooping to reduce the thickness mm. also give it a, a better shape so they apply this oxide on the body then they use this river stone this river stone to make it smooth and they also this this are the design entries. Oh, so those you take and, and that's how they get this design right here. Yes. Uh, so it's the things that if it is uh if it is wet, then you apply it on the body, you roll it on the and, body. And mold it. Yes. Like, okay. So it, it bring it the design. So now after the smoking the baby to die, probably it will take like a week before it died then they fired it so that is where they fired it they use grasses and the firewood Dry one. That's the dry one. Yes. Finish. That's nice. So the, the kind of uh, shed that is the person will ask you to mold for you. Mm -hmm. So they have different type of shed. Okay. You can see that this one is also a different shed. Oh yeah. They are all for planting. Okay. Initially, some of, some of them. How are you? Some of them are for storing water, and you, you could make water to be cooked instead of using the fridge. So basically, if you don't have the fridge, you can use it to store store water. Yeah. How long have they been doing the pottery in, in period? Uh, it's just about 19th century. Oh, so yes. 19th century? Yes. Okay. So there's something that they have been doing is this one learned from the mother, this one learned the mother will learn, then this one continue, that is how it is. Yes. So now we go to the the modern the modern section okay. so that we see how do the party also there. Okay. This is a modern section. The thing is that you get your clay from the bush, you bring your clay to the center, you leave it to dry. So 
the first thing you do you soak it inside water but it has to be depends on the, the clay the kind of clay that you have there is the one you can mix with uh, uh, kaolin and kaolin is also clay but it's just something that we discover from the Chinese and that is why they didn't call it uh, kaolin so we mix it with clay and the clay will be 70 the kaolin will be uh, 30 percent so you leave it to to soak it all depends how long you want to leave it then you use this mesh to sieve it with it just as it is now you can see how it has been received from the clay bed this is what we call clay bed so the all clay bed here uh, are for receiving of the clay so you leave it to to strong just to get hard just like a leather hard then you take it to the to the studio just as it is now this one now has been ready to to use so uh, it all depends on the weather how it will take if it is dry season it can take like two weeks before it gets set mm. then if it's rainy season it take like a month yeah so uh initially the the bomb bricks here that are the, that are the things that make the the clay to get set in time because they are bomb bricks mm -hmm. you know they absorb water so that is why they have been used for the first time for the clay bed so now after everything you pack everything to the clay the, to the working studio so now we'll go to the studio okay so that we see how we use clay bed. here in the modern section we use a kit then you first of all walk do your works if they are dry to fire then you bring them you set them here you arrange them inside there after arranging everything then you see this place up then there are the where you could put your fire then you start with a uh, preheating. That is, uh, it means that you put like one of two firewood inside there. So when everything is gets hot, like everything inside, then you can put as many as you can. So that is how it is. This this hole that you are seeing there is what we call chimney. That is where it's small. Being true. So it has a way of going out outside there. And not make it smoky in here. Yes. So without these, the firing cannot be done. Okay. Yes. So that is how it is. Probably it takes about eight hours when you're doing the firing. So that is how it is. So it bakes for eight hours. Cool. Yes. For eight hours. Yes. So we go to the Flying wheel, we also have electric wheel. 
Okay. After getting your clay from the clay bed, you bring it to the center. Then you, first of all, kneading the clay. And somebody here can clay. Okay. This side. This is really neat. It's kneading. So it has to be kneading. Like yeah. You have to knead the clay so that the air inside it can go out. Then you sat the clay just as it is. Okay. You make a sat if there is any stone inside it. Then you pick it up. Oh, make sure no stone. Yes. So after that, you also need it back. Then just as it is now. So the guys here they are all chain up, they are chain. Mm. Yeah. So, they are doing like three months now, during the training. So the first thing that you do, you center the clay. After centering, then you, you do pulling. After pulling, you get it's a shape. It all depends what kind of thing that you want to make before you begin with the shape. Just as it is now. Right here, this is ready to fire. 
Oh yeah. This wall we caused me away. Yeah, that's hard. Yeah. Yeah. But it's gonna get harder. Yes. Money. Ah, money, money, money. Adventures of Darren and Destiny. And Darren and Destiny are twin brother and sister. And you go on their adventures throughout the African diaspora, meaning so African diaspora destinations, primarily focused in Africa, but we go to South America, we're gonna to go to the Caribbean. Their first book is going to take you to Ghana. And then we're gonna go on a safari. And from there, we're gonna to go to Ethiopia. And then we're gonna Salvador, Brazil. And what the goal is, is to be able to inspire curiosity in the continent of Africa, in our children from a very young age, and to really tell a more accurate story. Most of our children are exposed to negative images, late night infomercials about how bad things are, everybody's sick, everybody's poor, everyone's uneducated, but that's simply not true. So what Darren and Destiny and their family do is they go to different African destinations. They are learning about these different places. You're beginning to see positive images, but still telling the truth. I mean, that's the important thing, to tell the truth about some of the things that have occurred. But it's all done on our children's level so they begin to understand it. And it begins to pique their curiosity. They begin to learn more. And hopefully one day they will want to explore and visit the continent of Africa and its many countries. There's just so much that Darren and Destiny are able to do and as they're doing it, it's, it's like they begin to open the minds of a, a new generation and they don't get bombarded and indoctrinated with negativity. They're actually able to see positivity and inspiring images and messages about the African diaspora as well as those who are still indigenous to the continent of Africa and they begin to learn more and, uh, and just see things differently. So I'm excited about introducing the adventures of Darren and Destiny.